Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here and today I want to do a bit of a first impressions video on Locke's Quest. I actually wanted to livestream this about a week ago when it just came out on PC, but unfortunately I got cut from internet and you know now it's back basically like it been restored a few days ago and this is I, I played it while I was offline so I'm gonna do a first impressions video on it. So this game's actually um, came out on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One just recently, I think it was like 30th of May or something. But originally it was released for Nintendo DS back in 2008 and was uh, pretty well received by the players, but I think not so much by the critics. Right now the situation is a bit weird because um, everyone who tried it on PS4 and Xbox One kinda is angry about it because the controls there are not very well. Um, I've played it on PC for a few hours, so I got past the tutorial obviously and past the first few missions and I have to say I'm actually enjoying it a lot, so I didn't play the original DS version, but the PC version works pretty well and you know I can see why that would be very bad on consoles. But let's jump in and let me show you how exactly it works. Um, yeah, there we go, there I am. So as you can see here, I don't know, let me try to scroll down the map a bit. Um, can I, can I drag the map? No, I can't, unfortunately, I know I can, okay, I can use WASD to do it. So you start over here in the village, and as you can see here, I walk through a quite a few stages now. All of those stages include multiple levels, let's call it this way, and uh, every time you complete them, you get some new things to work with, which is pretty cool. Let us continue to the next stage and, you know, see if we can actually complete one of the days or the levels, I guess. So, uh, there's probably going to be some minor story spoilers, but, you know, the story is quite straightforward. So there's not much to spoil, but if you prefer to skip it, feel free to do so. Okay, so we we uh, have to help here to defend this village from the clock, clockwork... Bah, God, let me try this again from the clockwork soldiers who are trying to get to this source over here on the left side. You can see it gets this magic thing that makes the machines work, basically. Okay, um, yeah, so those guys are actually stone workers, and as far as I understood, if we help them and if we are um, successful, we'll get a stone walls, which are better than what we have currently, because right now I can only put up the basic wooden walls that are, don't really hold too long. All right. So, and this is how the game goes. Uh, you get two phases. You get the build phase, uh, which is, you know, uh, your target is can be different actually. Most of the time it's just defend the location, but it can also be to defend the people or something along those lines or hold out for a specific number of turns. And uh, yeah, there you go. We have two minutes to build out the fences. As you can see here, there's the, this is probably where the enemies are gonna come from. And this is our layout. So I'm gonna put out a um, couple of turrets over here. Um, then I'm gonna take out this, uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna put this big one in the middle and put it over here, I guess. Uh, so the interesting thing about this game is that um, actually the way that you wanna build your defenses is not quite um, tower defense-like. Let's, let's put it this way. I cannot actually enforce this. So as you can see here, those icons uh, indicate the defenses, defense level of my things. And this is actually what I want to buff in, right? So the more defenses your buildings have, the longer they can uh, take the pressure in of the attackers. So what I'm doing here might look a bit strange because, you know, I'm just putting those things in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it's kind of is like this, but... The thing is that enemies here don't just evade obstacles, they actually go through them. So once the wave will start, we'll see the enemies just going forward and destroying those tiny walls. And uh, the thing is, the more walls you have, the more chances are that they will hold long enough for your turrets to blow up the enemies. I'm also gonna put up some traps over here that will apply the corrosion or damage over time essentially on enemies and uh, destroy them at least a bit on the walkthrough. And we can put one over here maybe. There we go. So, once we're finished building, we actually go into the fight phase or battle phase. And the thing here is that you don't just sit and watch, you actually control a character, which is you, who can attack things. So there we get, we got some enemies coming over here and I didn't put enough uh, traps here, so we're gonna attack this guy. And the interesting part is that you have those mini games that help you do more damage. So this one, for example, if you click them in the sequence, which is increasingly, gets increasingly hard, 
you will do more and more damage to them. So it's actually, you, you can do quite a lot of damage yourself and it is recommended to use this to your advantage. You do have health and uh, health does degrades. Oh god, they already broke one wall. Health does degrades with time, so they will attack you and uh, they will kind of try to kill you. But as, once you're low on health, you can just back off and regen a bit and then go back into the fight. Um, they also, I hate those archers because, they, oh no, 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 he's attacking the core. No, go the hell away from there. Ah, I missed it. So if you screw up the sequence, obviously you will not, will not get the damage. Uh, same goes for repair, so you have this repair mini game. Uh, you can repair your towers and your structures, so you can do that. Uh, this increases the speed of repairs. And this is, I think, the main problem for consoles, because you know here, uh, like in the original game, it was done with a touch screen on Nintendo DS, obviously. While here, it's done with a mouse, which works decently well. So I wouldn't say that you know, it's bad or anything. It can be a bit finicky, and I mean, sometimes I misclick, but that's purely my fault, so it's like... If you're careful enough, you can nail each and every one of those. Let me get this turret up and then we need to attack those guys. Uh, you also have the ultimate ability. Let's trigger that now. Uh, it charges over time, so you can use it like once every battle, basically. God, I'm getting destroyed here. Okay, let me repair those things. Uh, um, but yeah, so um, as, I, as I was saying, so those mini games work really well with mouse. I imagine they would be a bit easier to do if this was a touch screen because, you know, I could quick um, switch between those positions quicker because with mouse it's anyway a bit uh, finicky. Let's put it this way. Fiddly, maybe. Uh, with touch screen it would definitely be easier. So, um, how is it done on consoles? I honestly have no idea because I, I cannot imagine how you would do something like this. And then you repair that and kill that. Oh god, no, 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 they're gonna break it. No, okay. Once you lose a turret, you lose it. So the next stage you will get, you will basically start without that turret and you will have to rebuild it for whatever, you know, spending the currency that you earn on the level, which is also, by the way, spent for repairs. So you have to be careful and try to save as many of those walls as you can. I'm at half health and getting wrecked here. Let us retreat a bit. Oh, they broke another one. That is not very good. We have 11 more seconds to hold out, so the mission is not to actually um, defend the base from all the enemies, but to hold out for the specific duration. At least I that's what I had so far. Maybe there's like later on you will get some other objectives, but normally it's like you have a few minutes and you have to hold out for that time. And then you get another um, stage of the battle, right? I don't know if this level will have any, but uh, let's have a look. So we got launch offensive. Okay, that's something new. Uh, yeah, okay, squads, okay. Wait, so I, I now get to control people? Is that how it works? So that's what I'm saying, you know, the cool part is that every mission it gives you something new, something that is pretty cool. Uh, okay, and I guess we're going on offensive. It really plays more like a strategy game rather than the tower defense game uh, and you know this is a very great example of it so you, you don't get to build corridors and kill enemies with turrets you also get to even go in offensive it seems so i am very curious how it will work but uh, let's have a quick look all right so uh, anti-magic field this trap prevents magic okay so we got some new traps i guess we got the magic magic enemies so this this is a magician robot, because of course it is. Okay, uh, I guess we need to put some of the destroy marked enemies. Um, I'm guessing they will be, I guess so they will all, they will attack anyway, but they will do that. Um, basically there will be some special enemies. Okay, let me first repair everything. So yes, you do have to repair the stuff that was broken or, you know, destroyed or whatever. Let us put some more turrets over here. Um, Reinforce it. So this reinforcements thing basically works, you know, the more walls you have around your turret, the more, uh, the stronger it will be. Oh, that is actually very powerful. Maybe, maybe, wait a second, maybe I just want to do, I can't really do that. Uh, let me see if I can sell that. Maybe we can build a, comp I mean, I'm, I'm still getting a hang of that. Um, there we go. That looks pretty beefy. Uh, another problem is that if you just build walls everywhere, you won't be able to reach everything yourself. So you have to be careful about that and not lock yourself out. I think we're good. So we need some anti-magic traps. Uh, I imagine they will be shooting from afar, right? 
something like this and then some of those traps as well uh, near the walls because we want our enemies who just like rush here to get corrupted and uh, corroded and destroyed I don't really have anything else to build do we, we have the slow thing um, I don't think I can actually I can plug it in here I guess something like this it's not reinforced but you know whatever so uh, can I repair this actually no I can't repair the core okay so the core is the probably the only thing that you cannot repair uh, maybe we can can I plug in the gate anywhere no it doesn't seem so okay whatever let us try and play another round, but uh, hopefully by that time, you know, you already got the idea of how it works. So let's see, let's go and... Wait, do I have to actually go myself to them? Is that how it works? Looks like so. So basically, I ignore those guys. No, screw you. And then go kick the ass of those guys. I mean, I, I guess I can take one or two without dying. Oh god, I'm low on health. Okay, uh, let's kill that archer. There we go. I am very badly hurt, but I can kill him. So let's repair this wall. Okay, looks like I have to actually myself go and kill those guys, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if my defenses can hold out without me, which makes it even more interesting. I sure would be grateful for some... Ah, stupid archers. For some maybe mercs, because I had like one mission where I had preset mercenaries working with me. They was like actually... Like other combatants who would stop the enemies and kick their asses. Those archers are annoying as hell. There we go. Okay, run away from that guy. Uh, repair here a bit. We're good. Okay, let's go kill the other guy. Uh, we got two more. I guess maybe I can take them. One, two, three. You do, by the way, have a different attack. So this is one thing I haven't mentioned. You get skills over time. So I can actually switch to the corrosive skill. And then you get another sort of mini game. Which does damage over time to the enemy. So we got rid of one of them. Uh, we can, let's switch back to damage skill. We got the enemy mage coming in. And they got wrecked pretty well because of our anti-magic traps. So traps placement can be very effective. As you can see. Although, you know, I, can, I have to admit I'm pretty terrible at this game. Oh no, god, he... Break it. Damn it. Stop. Stop it, stupid thing. Okay, um, I guess we repair that one because it's quite broken. There you go, and this one, and we can try to go and maybe attack those two guys. So I have enough. I don't think I have my super attack charged. Let's try. Can I launch it? I don't know if I can. No, I don't think I can. Okay. Two, three, come on, four, five. Ah, there's another. No, oh, I'm almost dead. No, 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 run, run. Oh, God. Oh, that's not very good. No, they're almost to the source. Oh, God, no. Okay, I have no idea how you properly finish this mission. I'm guessing I will have to replay it a few more times to f figure that out, because this is just dreadful. I'm getting, getting destroyed. Uh, one of the points I want to make is that um, I'm guessing that if I would play it on touchscreen, then doing those mini games would be a tad bit easier. So, I mean, I, like, I wouldn't say that it's very hard right now, but I imagine, you know, using touchpad would make it quite much easier so the sort of difficulty curve will be um, lesser let's call it this way right okay let's kill this guy maybe five minutes to hold out okay so they will be coming a lot um there's another one here what see oh no okay marker is gone now so there's two guys here i don't want them okay let's attack the archer first because they are annoying uh, hopefully my base is not getting completely obliterated right now, so let's kill that guy. I wish there was a way to bind this to keys to, you know, quickly switch between them, because, I mean, we do have a keyboard and uh, sort of easy way to swap between skills while right now we have to click on everything, which can be a bit annoying. And my base is half destroyed, which is not particularly good. Let us kill that guy and uh, fix up this stuff real quick. Okay, we need to fix this up or they will destroy it. There you go. Oh no, they're attacking the source. Oh god, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. No, 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 you asshole, you... No! Ah! I screwed it up. No! Ah, cat! Just go away from my source. No! Three, four, die. There you go, okay. Let's repair this thing. No, 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 don't break it! There you go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, it gets intense. Uh, we still have three minutes to go. I guess I, I actually have to... Okay, first let us repair this a bit more. 
Alright, it looks good. So let's go attack those guys over here. And they're not too far away. Um, that is a lot of enemies coming in there. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's let's kill this guy. Problem is, this path is not defended at all right now. And if they attack me over there, I guess you could try to lure them to the um, to the base itself. Oh no, I'm getting killed. Yeah, I think I'm screwed basically because. This layout doesn't work at all. Okay, they destroyed my one more tower and... Uh, oh no! No, I have to kill you now. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm just screwed. Just magically screwed by this point. Uh, no, another one. And he's not even damaged. Yeah, I'm... I'm that, that's game over, basically. Um... You get a chance to either reset the defenses and replay the equivalent level, basically, so, you know, to start and kill those enemies again, or you can reset the whole map if you know that you screwed up at the beginning, because the first levels are also important. Um, so, yeah, I, I will have to do that again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, go to main menu and wrap this up. So the Locks quest, and uh, it's available right now on Steam, so I wouldn't buy it for consoles, because obviously those controls won't really work there. But on PC, that actually works surprisingly well. I mean, it's not touchscreen, and I guess, you know, they would... I I feel like they need to buff it a bit more, because the repairs and damage you do are not that significant. Because, you know, on touchscreen, you can do it way faster than with a mouse. So I think balancing it a bit would make it easier to play and would make it a better experience. But it's not terrible, let's put it this way. The game itself is quite unique, and if you do like this kind of meld of strategy game with um, base building and... Uh, tower def I mean, I wouldn't call it tower defense. It's kind of tower defense, but on the other hand, not because the enemies keep destroying your towers, which is something that doesn't really happen in tower defense. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a pretty great game. So if this looks like something up your alley, do have a look. It's pretty great. And uh, thank you for watching. And as always, I see you next time. Bye.